What's going on everybody? This is Avi Vasquez. I wanted to break down a technique which is very common in Jiu Jitsu, which is the double underpass. This was one of the first techniques that I learned back when I was a white belt and a blue belt. Although I was taught this technique in a particular way, I have completely reworked it into its current iteration. This is part one of a two part series. In this video, we will solely focus on getting the legs up to the shoulders and establishing control. I hope you enjoy the content and as always, thank you very much for watching. Two, three, four. There's, I would say in this move, there's four battles. There's four major battles. You can beat the four battles, you'll pass. Battle number one is to get the legs from here to here. That's the first battle. So usually when you're here, if, if I start you here, the heels are going to go to the ground. Oh, now it's a matter of lifting up the leg. Well, I think of this problem a little bit differently. Most people want to get both legs on the shoulder at the same time. But it's actually easier, far easier, if you do one at a time. And secondly, it's far easier if you use an angle to get the leg up. So most people will look at this problem, they're just gonna try to do this, to try lifting the legs straight up directly. The way I do it is I go here. So he can drive his heels to the ground if he wants. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a side. I'm going to lean and put my hand on the ground. As I do that, my leg steps because I'm shifting the weight to this side. So right now, he can make this leg as heavy as he wants. All you got to do to pop, pop it up to your shoulder is open your elbow. One side to that block the hip, and the other hand can now start to slowly look for the other side. If you can't get the second one up on the shoulder, you push it down, now you can start going open. We'll get the other one. So now we're here. Initially, remember, the leg is here. So as I do this, and if, and if, he, and if this leg is giving me too tough of a time, I do the same thing in reverse. Now my hands are here. That's the first battle. The second battle is going to be to keep him here. He's going to start to try and push away. i got to kind of maintain the position. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay? So the first problem is to get the leg up on your shoulders. So we're going to start this round. We're going to do it live. We're going to, I'm going to get everyone to understand what we're doing, and then we're going to go live. Start with very shallow arms under the leg. From here, I'm on my toes. From here, I'm just going to lean. Am I leaning forward? No, just lean to the side. Hand goes to the ground. Push off the hand and step up the leg. One, two. Now, all you got to do from here is open your elbow. And now hug the hip low. Now I'm looking to feed the, the leg. Now what I don't want to happen is I don't want this leg to uh, sneak underneath my arm. Go, 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 go. Because now I'm going to try and do it. So be aware of this leg going underneath my arm. He starts to go there, I can just grab his ankle. Come up behind the leg again. Okay, just understand that, that this arm on this side is back. So keep it behind the leg. Okay? One, two, boom. Move the weight, drive, and control. Question. This is battle one of four. Okay? No. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching my video. Please click like and subscribe to my channel for more great strike-based jiu-jitsu content. If you have any questions about the techniques that I'm demonstrating, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much.